This week, the Biden administration announced it will resume efforts to put 19th century abolitionist Harriet Tubman on the $20 bill. Tubman, who helped dozens of slaves escape through the Underground Railroad, would replace the nation's seventh president, Andrew Jackson. Joining News Nation now is Elizabeth Combs, professor of U.S. and world history at Texas A&M University. She received her Ph.D. from Stanford, is a New York Times bestselling author and award-winning documentary film producer. Elizabeth, thanks for being here. Uh, nice to see you tonight, Aaron. All right, Dr. Cobbs, there are other women who have graced American currency like Sacagawea and Susan B. Anthony. What's the significance of Tubman's place on the $20 bill? Well, this would be the first time we've had a woman on the paper currency. So, you know, Susan B. Anthony was on a coin, for example, but that doesn't really circulate that much. And so we're the only major democracy in the world that has not had a female, uh, an American woman patriot on its currency. So. You know, we want to join the rest of the world. We're really excited about it. So you and 125 other American historians wrote to then Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin, urging him to put Tubman on the 20, saying she is simply the most remarkable and well-known heroine in U.S. history. What makes her so remarkable? She is remarkable for several reasons. First of all, she is, was a you know, prominent abolitionist, the only woman to go repeatedly behind, in a sense, enemy lines and bring people out. So crazy, brave, and interesting in that respect. But she was also a foremost uh, uh, female military hero. She led a raid in South Carolina and helped to develop the military intelligence for a raid that was an amazing um, victory in the, for the Union troops in, in the Civil War. So, and then after the Civil War, she became a social reformer and, and actually was a woman suffragist and helped to start um, Homes for the Aged in New York. So just tremendous on all fronts. Well, let's talk about your latest book for a moment. It's about Tubman's time as a spy in the Civil War. What got you interested in this story? I, I got so interested because I thought if she's going to be on the 20, then we all need to know more about what makes her really unique, really remarkable. And this particular story is, is sort of off the charts. I mean, she she goes behind, you know, in, in, in the darkness and, and, you know, developing the military intelligence to take three Union ships up a, um, a river in South Carolina. It's an amphibious assault during, World, uh, during the Civil War. And so it's this very, very remarkable um, military victory. They liberate 750 people. Uh, they recruit new soldiers for the uh, Union troops. And it's, uh, it's, just, it's just a fascinating thing. In other words, <laughs> who doesn't love a good spy story? And I also think that Harriet Tubman is a, is a romantic heroine, and that's how I paint her in the book as well. Dr. Cobbs, very quickly, let's talk about whether or not you think this is actually going to happen. I know that it has been introduced. What's your feeling right now on, the, on Tubman being put in place of Andrew Jackson on the 20? I'm very optimistic about it. it and it just makes sense. First of all, Andrew Jackson will not disappear. The plan has always been that he would go on the back of the, of the $20 bill. So there's no reason at all not to proceed with that. And it's got to be somebody, you know, pick a woman. She was actually voted um, uh, out of a group of 24 or so um, remarkable American uh, women historical figures. And by popular acclamation, Harriet Tubman won. So she's the right one, and it's time. So I don't see why it won't happen. It wasn't planned. It was all, you know, signed, sealed, and delivered until the Trump administration decided to put a kibosh on it. Uh, you mentioned it is time. Uh, if you can, very quickly, as we begin to wrap up, why is it time for a woman to be on a piece of paper money for the United States currency? Our currency represents our values. I mean, it's our picture to the world. When people travel all around the world, they'll go to ATMs, they'll get foreign currency. And the $20 bill is the most widely circulated of all the bills. Think of it when you go to the ATM, Aaron, that's what it comes out at you. So it's, it's very symbolic and it, it helps to shift us all and helps us to see, oh, actually, you know, women are part of our history um, and they're certainly part of our future. So it takes something that seems like strange and odd, you know, that there could be a woman president or a woman military hero. And it actually says, no, this is, this is right. This is real. This has always been true. We just never looked. And now, and now we do. Dr. Elizabeth Cobbs, thank you so much for taking the time here on News Nation. Thank you.